Hi guys, Lianne Jennifer here with another episode of Seduce Me. <laughs> Just gonna see how long I can make it longer to seduce me. No, but this this is uh, the limit. Um, last time we got to know the boys a little better. The only one we haven't uh, gotten a second conversation with are Sam and Eric, the boys who kissed me. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go on. We were about to sit and have dinner. A dinner. Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. Oh, um... Eric was very charming, and his smile put at my heart. The way he kept flirting with me definitely designed him as the charmer of the demons. Yet, there was a little distance in his eyes. I cannot even see his eyes, man. Okay, let's go. By the way, I apologize for my behavior earlier. Stealing your second kiss like that. Yeah, how dare you. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. When I didn't believe that they were incubi. Incubi. It's fine. I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and grab the kiss for no reason. Looking at you, Sam. Looking at you. Looking. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Eric leaned in and whispered in my ear. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, I... Again, in the last episode, I dropped something. Now I dropped my phone. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Okay. I won't lie, though. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. <laughs> this guy is giving me the creeps, man. I was torn between smacking him and trying to play cool. Um, I think I'm gonna be cool because I think he's testing me or something or trying to get me angry at him because I don't know I feel like that's what he expect me to do so I think I, I would surprise him by not slapping him although he deserves it <laughs> don't whisper in my ear man maybe I'm whispering in your ear right now <laughs> Sorry, guys. This game makes me just giggle. Um, so I'm gonna be cool. You sure are quite a charmer. Yes, I am known for that. As much as you do appreciate the constant compliments, you don't have to keep talking to me like that. Like what? He batters his eyelids as if he had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> and I couldn't help but laugh. Well... Like you're trying to get into my pants half the time. I can assure you, I'm just a lover of beautiful women. Something tells me there's more to it than that. Ooh, look in his eyes, man. Look at that mouth. I got him. For a moment he looked away, losing a bit of his smile. Before I could question it, though, he turned back to me with a new teasing smile. Did you want there to be more? I didn't want to hit him, but I didn't know how to react. So I couldn't look at him. He merely chuckled again in my ear. Damn it! I lost to this charming guy. <laughs> Sorry. You just look so cute when you're blushing. I'm not blushing, man. Oh, the character is, but I'm not. I'm annoyed. I want to win. I felt my fate heat up simply from his words. I then felt Eric take my hand and kiss it gently. I hope you'll enjoy dinner, however, my dear. I drew my attention back to the dishes. I was both intrigued and slightly scared by the amount of food they made. Seeing my expression, 
Eric leaned forward and proudly smiled, gesturing to all of the dishes with a dramatic sweep of his arm. I made almost all of the dishes myself. Well, woohoo for you then. Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression, as if, come on, as if he was betrayed. His face changed instantly to that of a frown. And I'm the queen of the Nile. <laughs> oh, they love each other so much. So much fun. What's that supposed to mean? What does that supposed to mean? Me, you, and James did the work together, dummy. Yeah, dummy. <laughs> you wanted to take all the credits. Oh, 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 succubi. Oh, it's not a succubi, it's an incubi. Succubi is the female form of an incubus. If I remember correctly. It's you, James, and I, Matthew. Oh my god. I like you, James, so don't get on my nerve right now. <laughs> I know proper English is very important, but not right now. Not right now. <laughs> Little boys will always make mistakes. Aw, oh, don't be so... Oh, be nice. Matthew looked at James in disbelief, probably for siding with Eric, and he annoyedly swiveled back to Eric to confront him. Good, good boy. I'm not a little boy. I'm barely a year younger than you. No way. You look quite young, though, man. What kind of skin conditioner do you use? Well, you certainly don't act like it. <laughs> I really couldn't help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was adorable. However, I couldn't help but feel like, in a way, he was much more mature than the others. Especially Eric. Huh? Is something funny? <sighs> no, no, it's nothing at all. Thank you for the meal, all of you. Oh! <laughs> You're welcome, miss. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. He really, really wants to get slapped. <sighs> Eric, knock it off! Thanks, Matthew. You're cute. You're so good, good, good. In agreement with Matthew, Sam cocked up his head and glared at Eric. Seriously, you're getting really annoying with that suck-up act. His face again, it's so funny. <laughs> I love I don't know who draw this, but brilliant. It was obvious that Sam was the bad boy of the group. Oh I don't like bad boys, man. I know they're misunderstood and things like that, but man. No. He had this big tough act, and it was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But was there more to him than that? Yeah, probably. Probably. I don't wanna find out though. I'm just trying to be a gentleman. The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. Well, you're, you're scaring me more than treating me right, so... <laughs> There's a difference between being a gentleman and being an obnoxious flirt. True, true. I really like how James is acting, but if that's an act, that scares me a bit. <laughs> Schooled even by James. You're gonna need some cold water for that burn. Burn! <laughs> Awesome, awesome, oh my. You go, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> you like it too, Sam? <laughs> hey, Damien joined the party as well. <laughs> By the way, I don't believe we caught your name even though you know each of us. Ah, oh, I'm Jennifer. It's a pleasure to finally know your name. Yeah, that's a nice name. Thanks, guys. My parents gave it to me. It's my second name, though. <laughs> they were all comfortable around me, despite the awkward situation we were in. It was as if it was natural for them to be around humans. I guess that was just how Incubi worked. But I was still curious about one thing. Excuse me. All at once, they looked at me. I didn't know why. But having them all... having... Breathe. 
But having all of them look at me made me feel kind of important, like a queen or something. What is it, miss? I wanted to thank you for the food, but I still want to know why you all came here. I feel like I don't quite understand. Understand? Yeah. Like being told that a bunch of incubi randomly appearing in your house was perfectly understandable. Exactly. It's not. It's strange. And it's even stranger that you let them stay, and didn't call the police and things like that, but okay. Gotta get past that. <laughs> oh, um, how do we explain? You tell me, man. We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's so difficult to understand? You're getting on my nerves, Sam. Now you're just being rude, Sam. I'm just saying, how is that difficult to understand? No, I mean, what specifically happened? Well, you see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently we came into town, but we were jumped by this band of misfits. So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize for the mess we made. It's fine, I guess. So, you're all better now, right? Yup, all thanks to you. Huh? Me? You see, beautiful, we feed on sexual energy. But we don't just get it from kissing lovely ladies such as yourself. We can simply touch someone's hand to obtain sexual energy. Everyone carries sexual energy, you know. Apparently so. But not all the time, right? You're not <laughs> you're not having sexual energy all the time. I mean come on. I don't know. I was still in shock about their powers. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power. It was anything physical. No wonder I was out for a while. The incubi intrigued me, but at the same time I could almost hear a warning siren going off in my head. That... <laughs> that should happen. There should be a warning siren, like... It's not normal. But alright, it's for the story. So, let's go on. Is there anything else you wish to know? Well, what do you all plan to do now? Yeah, what are we going to do now, James? Yeah, James. That is a very good question. We just got here and surely we'll be hunted again if we leave. We can take him easily. Not without more training, Sam. The result of that was clearly evident in our last encounter with them. Yeah, don't be stupid, Sam. At that moment, I didn't know what came over me. But I suddenly felt sorry for them. They couldn't possibly survive out there. If they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's homes, they probably didn't know a bunch of other stuff. They probably would, ca would cause chaos all over town. Well, that I believe. Or, on the flip side, they could be taken in for questioning and be poked and probed like, a, like lab frogs for research. That was even worse. Well, that is worse. But most of all, they reminded me of back then. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the episode right here. So next time we're going into this flashback. And uh, we will find out what made them, made her remember about herself. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching Sedu with me. See you. Bye.